Hello Slims. Today I'm going to be ranking Red Velvet's title tracks which is one of the most requested videos from you guys. My ranking is 100% my opinion so remember that when you see that your fave song isn't at the top. Anyways let's jump into it. This song gives me a headache and don't be talking about how I have no taste cause yes the fuck I do. This song ain't it period. The only redeemable part is when Diz Bridge. Like she really did that in her debut song. Her high notes are the only redeemable thing in this song. It's basically a skip for me. This song is tolerable for me up until the chorus. I respect it cause it's the girl's earlier work, but this one is a no for me. It just seems very juvenile for a women group and Red Velvet are a woman group. I've always enjoyed their more mature Velvet songs more than their Red ones. This choreo may be one of their hardest but even that looks kinda babyish on them. Irene was close to 30 and she's performing songs like this. I can see why she hates this song. Red Velvet's vocals really do be putting you in a trance. They're just so pleasing to listen to. This song is nice, but I'm like never in a mood to listen to it. Lol. I really don't mean that as a snap cause this is by no means bad. But compared to their other Velvet songs I don't think it's the best. But I really do love the smooth sultry vibes that come through when this plays. I lowkey forgot this song existed. This is probably the only Velvet title track I'm not a fan of. I like the classy old school concept and the vocals are always amazing, but this song just didn't do anything for me. Tae Young's rap is iconic though. When I first listened to this, I dead as forgot how it went. It's true when people say it sounds like a high school musical song. That's not necessarily a bad thing though. It's feel good and adventurous. I found the song really cute, and I bopped to this for a good minute, but overall this comeback was forgettable. But for some reason this song made me think of Strawberry Shortcake. I know what I said earlier about Rookie being babyish, but for some reason I adore this song. The beat the chorus. It's a well produced song. This song makes me want it to be summer. I like the dance as well. The banana part is kinda random but this is kinda addicting after a while. I love the bridge like in all Red Velvet songs. Concept wise this was great. I surprised it myself that this song wasn't higher up but here we are. I adore everything about this song. It's a masterpiece. The vocals. The concept the frickin outfits. I'll say no more. I just wanna drown in Wendy's voice, and then I'll be good for life. The MV was one of the most aesthetically pleasing things I've ever seen. This has my favorite K-pop choreo. A lot of people thought the dance was boring and UN engaging, but it was the subtle movements that made it so good. This is perfect for any mood. It's not too upbeat, but it's not too low-key. It's perfect for any time of the day. I always played this song on my way to school. I like the meaning of the song about how love is a game of chance. Exquisite. This is iconic. This might sound tired, but this song showed one song of the year at the Mamas in 2017. This has one of my favorite bridges of all time. I even like Irene and Yara's rap. What else is there to say? Perfect song. 10 out of 10. I don't know how to explain, but every time I listen to this song I get chills. Y'all I wanted to join their pizza boy killing group so bad after I watched the MV. Literally they're the only group I would join a cult for. This song has rights of its own. But it's Irene saying the title at the end of the song for me. Best concept in K-pop I said what I said. This song is top tier. I don't care I don't care. I can't think of any other girl group doing a song like this. 
Only Red Velvet could pull this one off. This was hella experimental compared to their other title tracks but they slayed. Whether you hated or loved this song it was memorable. Upon first listen I was like what the hell did I just listen to? But after the third listen I was sing Zimzalabim like a maniac and dancing aggressively in my room. You got me feeling like a psycho, psycho. Whoever made this beat deserves to retire for life. How is it that SM finds the best demos for their group's songs? This song is an 11 out of 10, but it cold been higher if Wendy participated in promotions. W only got one stage with her, and then her accident happened, which should never happened period. I wanted to hear her live vocals so bad. Anyways this song was one of the best comebacks of last year. I want that impressed with the MV, but it wasn't bad at all. It's the addictive melody for me. Sure the lyrics are questionable but that's what makes K-pop funny sometimes. Before there was Blackpink's ice cream we had this. I owe how this group can make anything catchy no matter how whack the song is. Vocals vocals vocals. That's it. That's the comment. Definitely one of their best. Irene enjoys rap cold bean better, but it didn't ruin the song for me. The choreo is fun to watch as well. This song deserves more praise in the fandom. I have a question. Why does no one ever talk about this song? It's so beautiful I can't even articulate. It transports you to the 60s during a rainy night, where you're waiting for your lover that might not return. To me this is their best Velvet song. The whole album was just campfire feels. If you haven't heard this song before I promise it's an experience. It's the screams for me. It's the Halloween horror concept for me. This is my go to title track. It never gets old and honestly it has way more replay value than bad boy. I really don't know why this song was hated so much when it's so delicious.